FIU defense brought with him to the Orange Bowl. Javaris James hit hard right at that line of scrimmage, and uh, a couple of Hurricane players get tangled up. Well, this has been one of the more physical games we've seen this season. It, it reminds me of the opener against Florida State. Well, of course it's physical because, like you say, you got a lot of Miami kids over there a little upset about not being at the U. A lot of these kids grew up watching the University of Miami, thinking that one day they had an opportunity to, to be here. And, you know, unfortunately for them, uh, maybe they weren't good enough or, or the coaching staff may, might have thought that there was a better player and they weren't able to come here. Now they're at FIU trying to make a stand for themselves. Talk about some assistant coaches for FIU with uh, history here at Miami. First year linebackers coach Vernon Hargraves, Clint Hurt. They got his coaching start with FIU. Former Hurricane defensive lineman out of the backfield. James Bryant into the end zone for a touchdown. He was so wide open in the beginning. I thought Kyle was going to miss him. Good job there. I call this kid right now the fire starter because he has really started this thing off. And unfortunately for him, they called him on a penalty for bowing. <laughs> and now we got a little seven going on. A little frustration. That could be expected. Well, a lot of frustration. And the uh, FIU on defense trying to calm each other down. See a couple of defensive linemen, Reginald Jones and Roland Clark. Very heated. We talk about the uh, the fiery competitor that James Bryant is. We saw him in the second quarter with a big catch and run down the sideline and a There's great a block as play. well. After the play, dead ball. This is his second touchdown of the Number season. Number 45 this the offense. Drive, which won five plays and 40 yards. And it all started with the block punt by Colin McCarthy. FIU special teams has haunted them all year. 116th nationally in net punting. The unsportsmanlike 15 yards will be assessed on the kickoff. You know, with all this pushing and shoving, I tell you, if this would have been back in the days, we'd have told these guys, hey, meet us at Tamiami Park, and let's get it on with our pants, okay? We would have just gone and played these guys. We didn't need no fans out there. We'd have, had, we'd have been beating them down. <laughs> but this is a whole different era. Whole different team. You know, you could you could choose stadiums. You can go to FIU's <laughs> campus, or you could just stay in the Orange Bowl. It's not like a team that was flying out of town back in your days, Lamar. <laughs> John Petty's extra point is up and good, and uh, another melee on the field. This one is getting out of hand. Flags all over the place, and uh, this is ugly. Very ugly. Significant as uh, any you would see graphic wise. Horrible violence all over the field, and it's hard to point in any particular direction. Now, the uh, Metro Dade police trying to restore order. And that's what I'm talking about. You come into our house, you should get your behind kicked. You don't come in the OB playing that stuff. You're across, you're across the ocean over there. You're across the city. You can't come over to our place talking noise like that. You get your butt beat. I was about to go down the elevator and get in that thing. <laughs> uh, 
Unsportsmanlike conduct on 25, 38, yeah. 95, 11, 12, 1, 9. I guess in this case, you can only go back to see where it started. And I saw for FIU, you hate to point fingers, but Lionel Singleton on the point after was one of the culprits, one of the many. And the coaches, and Larry Coker in a huddle on the hurricane sideline, there you see Don Strzok. They have got to do everything in their power to restore order. And the officials have the toughest task of all. I don't know how you assess any penalties here. You know, I say, why don't they just meet outside in the tunnel after the ball game and get it on some more? You don't come into the OB, baby. We've had a down couple years, but you don't come in here talking smack. Not in our house. Well, the scene on the sidelines. Look at that. I'll tell you what, FIU came into the Orange Bowl <laughs> with as much adrenaline as any team you could ever anticipate. Miami might have taken the first step back, Lamar, but they were there to meet the challenge moments ago. You know what we'd be saying right now? We ready, we ready, we ready. And that's what I'm talking about. You want to come in here talking smack again. You want to come in here talking smack. It's time to get it on. We've let you play in our stadium and play well. I gotta give that by you. They play well so far, but you crossed the line at some point. Well, at 8:45 on a Saturday night in the Orange Bowl, October the 14th, 2006, a rivalry, South Florida. Yes, a rivalry is born.
lengthy delay here in the Orange Bowl of uh, nearly 15 20 minutes as they try to restore order and the officials huddle up and going to have to consult their rosters. Uh, players on both sides sent back to the locker room after a melee on the field. After the play, we have numerous unsportsmanlike and personal fouls on each team. Those penalties will offset. There are also multiple ejections on each team that will offset. After the play, correction, on the touchdown, we had a dead ball, unsportsmanlike, number 45 of the offense. 15 yards will be assessed on the kickoff. Well, for the Hurricanes on the point after James Bryant, uh, you hear the suspensions, so we'll take a break. 14-0 is Miami's lead.